Okay, I thought I'd do a little, kind of like a little, not a tutorial, but just kind of a a conversation around, uh, I don't know which way I should look. I've always had this problem with this. If I should look over here or over here or up here, I'm like really not sure, but I'm just gonna look right here. Cause I can't look at, I can't look at myself and then look at you. It's really strange, but let me look over here. It's hard to look over here because I like to look at myself and talk to myself. I know that sounds crazy in a kind of sane way. And then I also want to take, oh, perfect. I can talk to my tree. So I was going to tell you, hold on a minute. Let me just really connect. <laughs> okay. So I was going to just tell them a little bit about the pathway of what I've strategize, which is not something I recommend for people. The evolution of my content has been big business, uncovering of big business. And it's not a safe place to interact in an environment when you're insecure and you don't have the education that I have. And I don't mean to say that to put you down. I'm just saying it's a painful, it was painful journey to get me to where I am today of physical abuse. So that's something that viral content creators, um, their souls are stolen when they go viral so quickly and then they become the abuser to the audience. And so my battle has been to stay me, a human. I've been staying a human. I know that sounds really strange, but when you, I've been viral a couple times on the TikTok platform where our one video that I wasn't very happy about went viral based on a scientific fact that people shouldn't have tongue rings and the entire community uh, bashed me. I was just bashed and I'm like, okay, whatever. I did a lot and I did a number on my self esteem, but I didn't realize that was what was going on at the time. So it's very important to, for you to recognize if you do decide to start posting content, there is potential for you to go viral and then some events will ensue after and you're, the goal is to stay human. Other things that I've participated in is utilizing the platform as what the platform was intended, meaning celebrities are on the platform. However, there's an unspoken law in celebrity land that they, you're not supposed to say this and you're not supposed to do this and you're not supposed to engage in it on a celebrity's platform if you're another celebrity. However, I didn't really care. So I went around and I made videos underneath people's TikTok platforms, which is the whole purpose of the platform. It, it took training though, because I was working on another platform called uh, Hi Ho, where I learned, it didn't really take me too long. Well, Instagram stories, as well as um, Hi Ho, which I, I like Hi Ho, it's just people act really strange. I have a real weird capability of speaking to people as if they're real people. And people don't understand that connective piece, I think. We're still learning a little about what is ensuing. I know there's a, a, a whole other side of what's going on on what you see, and then there's another side of what I, I see, and I literally am just speaking to energy. So in my view, I have zero people following me, uh, 800 at the most on one platform, because I have like four to seven TikTok pages that I always like, close out and they disappear and then China owns the rights to those videos because I don't save anything either I just delete it which means that if there is a hopefully hopefully y'all there's somebody out there who's been uh, I'm very bad I have to tell y'all I'm very bad at organizing I'm like I'm on to, you know how I'm doing this 10 minute on the fly there's like a positive and a negative to every thing. Well, you're probably very organized. That's a very positive trait to have. I'm very disorganized, meaning I literally am just fluffing out content, but I'm pushing out ideas too. And they come in like mass amount. I'm like, I'm co always constantly coming up with new ideas, new ideas and new ideas and new ideas, and they never get ev evolutionized. And so they basically are sitting in a queue waiting to be discovered and worked on and created like I did actually come up with the just the washable rug which I actually said somebody could have that one because I was like but they should have still at least given me the credit or a, a portion of the I inventors idea and that's really what we're dealing with which, which is the people who have the ability 
to, they have money and you don't have money and you don't understand how to make a patent on a product and it takes time, you're uh, manage, what is that marketing? Something with an A. So you have to be careful what ideas you're putting out because someone will come along and steal your idea and then create it as their own. The rug thing, I was kind of, I was a little PO'd in the beginning because I think that it's wrong. I think that I, I have integrity. And so if I saw a pathway, this is how I operate. If I saw a pathway for somebody and me and someone to do a business deal of saying, well, you have the idea and I have the ability to pathway it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going, I just got another idea. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm sorry, I was distracted. Um, then we're gonna collaborate and we're gonna work together and everybody's gonna make money. However, these people are seriously greedy and they only want themselves to win. And they definitely don't want you to win because you're a good person and they don't want good people to win because if good people win, then bad people will lose. And bad people are willing to do whatever it takes to get to where they wanna get to. Um, and so anyway, that's one aspect. I tagged a lot of people, which most people are very fearful of tagging people in their content. Um, hashtagging, I hashtag, like people would say it's inappropriate. So I hashtagged hundreds and maybe thousands of people uh, constantly. Some people called it stalking. I mean, only if you're the one who's insane. Um, I t added people, a, like the at symbol in mass quantities to people who were working their platforms to get noticed and recognized. I held back nothing from my writing, which none of this was like, um, like none of it was like polished. This is all like on the fly. So it's none of it's been polished. And I just like spewed it out, like constantly spewing out information. Not only was I creating and enjoying it, it's like so much fun for me to do the early stages of stuff, like the idea creation of stuff. Um, but I, what was the other thing I was gonna say? Like spewing out ideas. Oh, but I was evolving myself too by being a content creator. In content creation, I was pushing out ideas, but I was evolving myself in the ability to speak to a camera, to be with any communication of that person on the other side. Meaning initially when you start producing content, you're going to be experiencing bots telling you you're not attractive. Why would you say that? What? Like all kinds of dumb stuff to make themselves, whoever's behind it, more successful than you. This is how crazy all of this is. So by producing the mass quantity, I mean, there's a lot of things I was proving though that this system is corrupt, that it's a socialite, socialites dream that there's corruption in the government in hollywood on the internet within TikTok, etc 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 and i wanted to prove that producing mass quantities would either work or not work and obviously as i sit here on this youtube platform with 14 thank you so much for following me you're very valuable unless you're a bot then i hate your guts um That's it. I mean, you know, like you want to have a volume because if you have a hundred thousand people watching, a thousand people might purchase from you. And a thousand people to me is just pl is plenty. Like people don't really understand business. Like if you're in a dental office and you're working in business as a dental, as a dentist, having a thousand patients, a thousand folders on your wall or in your computer is a lot of, a lot of money. It's a lot of patients. It's a lot of service. It's a lot of work and I would even say that that might even be a high-end number especially if you live in a small town I don't know because I never really asked like how many charts do people have so in, in my mind I can think of corporate because I've worked corporate large quantities of like a Heartland Dental company and then smaller businesses who acted like a larger business seeing the potential for growth and then also knowing that the lack of desire of the, of the employees to grow the business. I mean, it is like, if you want to know business, you take a look at a dental practice and what a dentist has been through to grow their practice. And I've been through uh, circuits of 150 plus dental offices.
it's insane. Not to mention the professionals that I've encountered along the way from the good ones to the bad ones to the ones that I even sent to the FBI for sex trafficking. And so you tell me how a review gets on a platform of Facebook that says, we're basically giving hand jobs with a foreigner girl who looks like she's 17 years old, who's an assistant when they don't allow me into the computer and then they're gonna to continue to keep the business open. That tells me as we are embarking on a business, I mean, that's my role. That's what I did for this trafficking. That's what I did. Meaning I'm calling people out. I'm calling people out for just speaking up again, speaking up for the movie that Mel Gibson and Jim made. But I'm telling you that I actually took, I put my ass on the line and I called up, or excuse me, I think I emailed, I called people, I told people. I wasn't even sure, but it was more important for me to save this young 17 year old girl who they were telling me was 23 and who was heading to dental school in three months. I'm sorry, but you don't just go to dental school if you're from some other country. You gotta have a high school diploma. You gotta have a college degree. And there's a lot of other things that need to happen for you and for you to leave your, your parents and to come live with these creepy, creepy people who do terrible dentistry. You gotta see the signs of it, then you gotta take action and you gotta report it to the right authorities. However, the wrong authorities live in Virginia Beach. Border Logos folks is their name. Rich and Ann Matika, I told them about it, as well as some other chick. And it is the weirdest stuff that I've ever seen in my entire life. And so that's what I do, is I say it out loud versus keep their names secret. Um, I don't just play roles in movies, no offense, although it is very prominent and glad that you made the movie. But I want you to know that the next step is actually calling people out. It's like taking action. Not just sitting in an interview while an interviewer gets their rocks off because people are watching their interview. Because that's literally what we're watching. What we're also watching is the evolution of people owning jets. And we've seen a woman take her bra off on a jet with men holding a camera, women on the other side, and we're literally watching people traffic. Because when the cameras turn off, you don't actually know what goes on. And everyone in the planet can say, hush, hush, hush. But that's why all of this is going on is because you all do not speak out against it and point fingers, pointing fingers and saying, I need them to be investigated, please. And if you are innocent, then what's the big deal? That's how you stay, uh, like, you know those people who like to be the bad guys, who like the adventure of bad dude, doo doo shit? That's your job is to uncover the doo-doo shit because you're still in the doo-doo shit. That's how life for you gets to stay interesting because no matter what happens, there's always gonna be those people who are just rotten to the core. And now I'm heading into 13 and a half minutes um, and I kind of digressed a little. But I wanted to point out that content creation, there's a lot of aspects to it meaning everybody's watching whether you think they are or not and it's a bravery it's courageous it's can be unique to you but what matters the most is whether you stay within your own self-awareness of conviction of who you are and what does it mean to be a sellout it means you follow a trend it's so easy especially if you're in your 20s and 30s to sit there and say, well, she's doing it, so if she's doing it, then I'll do it. And she's got more followers than me, and so since she's got more followers, followers than me, I'm gonna compete with her, and I'm gonna do what she's doing, and she's actually very abusive. That's not the kind of community that you wanna build. Those people are short-term, you're looking for long-term, and it does start off by creating content, but you have to figure out who you are as a person not as a brand, but as a person. And when you figure that out, then you can start talking about branding. Because branding becomes your, becomes your unique self. It really becomes your hobbies. It becomes what you're interested in. It doesn't, it actually has your educational stamp on it. Because you grew up in uh, North Dakota 
and I'm from Georgia and California, meaning I've got different education than you do. You may have been a farmer and I want to hear about what you have to say on farming. I could read a book, but you're interesting. You see, I don't want to do, um, I don't want to go to a, a, a book. I want to hear somebody tell me. I want to know that my cows are being taken care of. I want to, and I want you to ask the cows for permission to be filmed. Just to let you know. Some of these cows are, are actually a lot of the, most of these cows are really miserable. Just to let y'all know. Anyway, I'm way over my allotted time. If you like, and I think I forgot my bell too. <laughs> Maybe I didn't. I can't remember. If you enjoyed this podcast and you like this content, then I'm asking you to share, to subscribe, and to call your mom and tell her to like it as well. And then, you know what? Call your sister too, because she's probably dealing with a lot of bull crap. And most people don't have a whole lot, a lot of people to talk to anymore who can really have a real conversation. And you and your sister used to have a lot of fun together. Just saying. And so did your family. And eventually we'll get back to the old times. But right now, it's a matter of, of spreading, the, spreading the word of what's actually going on here. I mean, we live in real world, okay? We live in the real world. I don't do robot, okay? I don't do robot very well. I am a robot. I am a robot. I am, I like try, I try, I try y'all, I swear I try, I just can't. I'm too, I'm too much a personality, I guess. And I like personality, I think personality is cool. Anywho, okay, that's it. Like, share, subscribe, love yourself, love your life, love your content because it's uniquely you and you're authentic, authentically yourself and you have good intentions and you have a really, really good life. And then the reason you have a really good life is because you call out bad people and you don't tolerate that shit. Okay, bye.